I have to do that. Holy cow! <laughs> I was losing. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. And uh, he had 14 minutes left at the end of the game, so I. Of course, you were the last ones to finish. I was gonna dive in. <laughs> 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 well, I, I, I equalized. I moved forward. Okay. okay. Let, me, let me do this. It's <laughs> <laughs> still one square. One square short. You gotta keep your bishop fat. Right. 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 Okay. Yeesh, I'm gonna get killed. Are you the kind of affectionate with that post? Or what? Oh, that's horrible. That's terrible. How could you say that to a four year old fight? Nine to six. Nine to six. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have some responsibility. Is there a law from this? No. Oh. Then he did a full breakdown. He did this long maneuver which wound up with this. And at this point, after this long maneuver, the creature developed the castle. Yeah. Yeah. And it was kind of this kind of thing where, you know, there was, you did, there was a possible second. And, but meanwhile, just playing here in this position at this time, I was So I had to spend a lot of time <laughs> uh, maneuvering his queen, like, we should be here, bring that to here. Carl, remember, no remorse. Or something. You're talking to this Carl. Do it on the in the middle and get the, which I allowed. But if I had to just play here and then here, mm. I saw it, and for some reason I wanted to open up again. I allowed the Okay, come on. What? Stop it. But I defended it. Stop it. I do? Huh? I just want a little night. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't take it. It's almost like he knew what he was doing. That's scary. Because uh, he had Queen G3. I thought the, the block was from But you had check. I saw it late like that. That's actually better structure. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, you're black. <laughs> Oh, piss in the garbage can. Like, oh. <laughs> 
You remember I used to play the Budapest a lot? You remember I used to play the Budapest? Yes, not well, but you played it. I have exactly. that book. I have that book. The one by Taylor. The one by Taylor. Right. I actually like that book. I mean, if you don't want to make that your main defense, I don't think, but it's something to pull out in the closet like uh, once in a while. I think you know about out of the closet, right, Paul? Okay. You're in the closet? I didn't know. You're in the closet? It's a closet thing with him. I don't know. Hey, Laser, are you going to any parties today? Brian here. Hope you enjoyed that crazy tense end game there, played by both players, and well done to both. Uh, what a great game! And time pressure just kind of adding to the pressure, adding to the crunch. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. And before we do the analysis, let's do our simultaneous sipping of our cup of coffee or tea or whatever you usually drink while you watch our games. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hopefully you're drinking out of a coffee chest GM cup, which you may need to uh, help answer the puzzles in the post-game analysis. All right. So in this position, um, 
Mark played rook h2, and then in the game, J played um, king g4. Let's go move back here. Pause the video. What would have been another move for black here? All right, one idea is f5, and the idea is to cut off the escape square. And now black is going to threaten the mate on the next move. So white can only check from here on out. And white has to keep checking because on the next move, black will deliver mate. So going to get a draw in that position. Um, yeah. And um, also don't forget to check out the video description. All the uh, Amazon links to all the chess gear are there. If you want to get Mark a cup of coffee, his link is there as well. All right, let's go here in this position and in the game. White played f king f3. Let's go move back. Pause the video. What would have been another move for, for white here? All right, white can play king h5, and black has run out of checks now. Um, I mean, he can check, but he'll lose, he'll lose a rook. So it's uh, white pretty much has the game in the bag here, and... These checks are going to come, and what white is going to do is going to remaneuver his rook so that he can deliver mate with one on each rank. But now rook b8 comes to intercept that, and but you'll see the reason why king h5 in a couple moves here. Now king plays g6 to guard this rook, and mate is inevitable here, so... Ooh, hard to see the stuff under time pressure. And for those of you who are wondering why here in this position Mark sacked his rook was because anywhere the king moves, either king e6, he'll get mated here. And same thing with uh, king e5. This will be mate, so just in case any of you are wondering. All right, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.